So you found out about DaVinci Resolve. It's an amazing video editor, but there's a lot going on in this program, so it could be hard to know exactly where do you start. How do you actually do your first most basic YouTube video? Well, don't fear. Sweet Phil's here to help. Now the absolute most basic, how do you actually get your video into the video editor? Now it's pretty simple. Usually I just have this file explorer over on my other monitor. It's that easy, you just have your folder open that has your video in it, and you go ahead and just drag, and you can drop the file directly into DaVinci Resolve. And there you go, the video's in, ready to rock. Now just a general operation tip, if you wanna zoom in and out in the video, there's this dot on this line with the plus and minuses, this is how you zoom in and out, you can drag it, you can click, to zoom however you want. It operates pretty much like any video player. Spacebar will go ahead and play the video and Spacebar will also stop it. Now you can also use the left and right arrow keys to go ahead and move frame by frame or hold them down to go ahead and play forward or backwards. So we're gonna utilize those easy tools now to jump into the next super basic thing you wanna do. Let's say you wanna get rid of this, this little bit of black screen at the beginning of your video. Now I'm gonna hit the arrows one by one until I get to the spot right there. I don't want any of that black part before the video. Now to go ahead and cut the video, you can use this blade tool right here and click exactly where you want it to cut. Or I much prefer to do is I go ahead and down, hold down control and hit the letter B. And that makes the cut in the video. Let's say hypothetically, you actually didn't want to make that cut in the video. And you can use this for anything, literally anything you do in here. If it's a mistake, just hold down control and hit the letter Z. And that cut just went away. I use that one way more often than I'd like to admit. Oh, I changed my mind. Let's go ahead and make another cut in the video right after this camera change. So I'm gonna go ahead and control B and make the cut right there. Now let's say this first clip right here, I want it to be completely gone. There's two different ways to go ahead and delete it and they're both incredibly useful in different instances. First of all, hit the backspace button, the clip goes away, but you notice the other clip just stays exactly where it's at. But let's say that's not what you wanna do. I'm gonna control Z and undo that action. Now with this first clip selected, let's say you want this second clip to go ahead and slide all the way back to butt up against either the start of the video or if there are multiple clips, it will butt up against a clip that is right next to it. So I'm gonna highlight that first clip and actually hit the delete key. Boom, the clip slides over, that's called a ripple delete. You use that one all of the time. So I'll show you what it looks like here in the middle of a video. We're gonna go ahead and make a cut. We're gonna go ahead and make uh, another cut right here where the next video changes. And we'll click the clip in the middle and we'll go ahead and hit delete. And you see how they slide right together. So there is gonna be no black spot there. Now pretty much every video needs text of some kind. So over in the toolbox, go to titles. And I would generally, right off the bat for the most basic, go ahead and drag and drop a text Plus, now I'm not gonna go into pretty much any detail on how to edit this kind of thing. I got videos about how to make your text look very good. There's tons of them on the, on the internet, but this is just for the most basic. Up here, now that you're under the inspector, go ahead and click on title, and this is where you can go ahead and change the text. You can go ahead and make it a different size. You can go ahead and change the color. Sure, why not? You can go ahead and move it up and down. There's gonna be a ton of different things you can change in here. So I'll go ahead and make a couple other, I don't know, sample cuts in here, just to, in an example of, you know, what you would wanna go ahead and do. Now you of course would wanna add maybe some graphics and things like that. It's super easy as well. It's gonna be just as easy as adding the video. You just click on your picture that's in your file explorer, you drag it, here you see I have a red arrow, and you drop it on whatever line over the video you want it to be. And then from here, just as we are changing the text, you can go ahead and change anything you want. And right here we have an arrow. Let's go ahead and rotate the arrow. Let's go ahead and change the zoom to make it smaller and we'll change the position. And hey, we're pointing at the name of this particular vehicle. Maybe not the best example because the name and the camera's wiggling around, but you kind of get the idea. Now with these images, you can change the length of how long they're on the screen by dragging and dropping them, or just like the actual video, go ahead and click on the image, go ahead and use the cut tool, and then you can go ahead and delete it or ripple delete it, whichever one works for whatever you're trying to do. Now let's say you have all the stuff done to your video the way you want it to look. You have all your mistakes and your stutters cut out. And now you want to go ahead and export it so you can then go ahead and upload it to YouTube or do whatever you're doing with the video. Now at this point, you want to come down and click on the deliver tab. Now you're going to have to decide which way you're going to go ahead and render this video out. H.264 or H.265 will work for a lot of people. There's a pre-done YouTube setting right here. I'm gonna go ahead and select that because I'm guessing a lot of the people that are watching this, editing their first video for free, are gonna be making a video for YouTube. So you just go ahead and change the title to the video or whatever you're naming it, of course. You come down to the bottom here, you select add to render queue, you go ahead and save the video, and then you go ahead 
that it's over here under render queue and click render all. And then you wait for it to go ahead and do its job and the video will be done in, well, depends how fast your computer works. Then you can go ahead and look and there it is. There's the video all rendered out and ready to upload to YouTube. If you want to see some more in-depth or specific tricks, make sure you check out some of these videos displayed right up on screen. I know they're going to help you out in your DaVinci Resolve editing journey.